Hello and welcome to East Allotments. My name's Mark and uh, like today I've just been watching um, some of the, you guys on uh, YouTube and uh, come across an uh, update there off Aaron. Um, apparently um, he's got to go into hospital, he's got to have a major operation. Um, like I say these days they're pretty routine but uh, nonetheless all the best of luck mate there for you. Um, like I say, uh, when you get back, um, perhaps you might want to do um, an update on your chilies, so we know you're okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but um, yeah, I think that'd be a, a real good comeback. That um, your chilies, uh, you were saying that they was doing, they've, they've not been doing too good, and they've started to pull through. So uh, yeah, um, I say maybe after the operation, when you're feeling up to it, you might want to come back on and uh, do a bit of a. A reveal with your uh, chilies, eh? That'd be a good one. Um, but um, like I said, uh, got an old uh, China, uh, no China, an old um, Egyptian prayer for you, mate. It goes like this: uh, May God stand between you and harm, and all the dark places you must walk. So all the best with the operation, mate, and I hope to be seeing you after it. Uh, so you take care, right? Uh, onwards and upwards. Now this video is a bit, bit, bit of a bit weird, really. Um, what I'm going to do is um, now I don't know if you know that one of my other passions is astronomy, and on the 14th of this month um, we're going to have a celestial uh, event happening. So that's a uh, Thursday evening light. Now um, around about. Well, after dusk, obviously, uh, you want to look out for uh, 109 Swift uh, P. Tuttle, um, Stroomfield. You're going, what the hell is he talking about? Well, to those in the know, they will know it as the Perseus Meteor Shower. Now, I've, I've missed it for four, maybe five years. I think it's the fifth year I've missed it. This year, apparently, it's going to be a clear skies here, so there's every chance I'm going to actually get to see this event. Now you probably all go, well where do we look? Well there's the easy thing. If you'd all turn your heads to the south just after um, dusk or um, look about 60 degrees which is about that angle, I don't know if you can see, about this angle looking up from where you are, your eyes, so you're looking that way. 60 degrees to the south uh, you're going to start to see meteors bouncing off the atmosphere. Now as the night goes on, um, around about uh, well early morning, you want to then shift your your direction to southeast, um, and that's when the meteor shower will be at its strongest. You'll be getting between thirty and fifty meteors an hour in the atmosphere. Now, if you've got an LSR camera, uh, you can open the aperture right up and stick it on a timer for half an hour. Um, you can get some pretty good pictures of these uh, meteorites hitting the atmosphere. I mean, I love the way they hit the atmosphere in all different colours. That's the different elements inside the actual meteor. Um, as, they, as, as they hit the atmosphere, they give off a light. They, they radiate a light, each element. So, like, if you've got a green sort of flash, it's like oxygen and so on and so on. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to be down here. And you, like I say, you don't need um, binoculars, you don't need telescopes. All you need is a pair of these, a decent chair to lie back in, and uh, some coffee to drink while you're watching. So there you go. That's that's what's going to be happening on, on the Thursday evening. And the allotments is the best place to actually watch these events. So I'm going to be down here until the early hours of the morning watching, the, watching this uh, meteor shower. That's if it's clear. But if it isn't, it might be clear where, where you are. So uh, give it a bit of thought. You only get to see these meteor showers once a year, like, and sometimes you don't even get to see them for years at a time, like me with the wet with the weather. I mean, I live in the rainy city, Manchester, so or Salford actually. I don't like to say Manchester. Uh, I live in the rainy city, and uh, it's it's ninety percent of the time it's cloudy. But apparently this year. Uh, it's looking pretty good uh, to view the stars. So I'm going to be down here on Weasel Allotments and we're going to see what, hopefully we're going to get to see a few of these uh, meteors. 
Right, I thought, well, we're not going to just leave it there. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you, I think in the last update, I was telling you about I needed to get myself a couple of roses. Well, I've got a couple of roses, uh, I went and bought them, um, and I got them for a, a steal, honest to God. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick look at these um, these roses, and then I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to final moments with you there before we go, Okay. So over we go to the uh, to the the roses. What I've bought. Hello, YouTubers. Um, well, I found the two roses that I'm going to be growing, and I only paid a pound a plant. And they're both climbers. We're on the uh, car boot sale uh, today, um, and blow me. The guys having a clear out and. Uh, yeah, these are the, these are the, this is the variety American Pillar. There's the instructions. Sorry, guys, I can't read it, but uh, you know, apparently there are an old variety of these. So that's that one I paid a pound for. It looks fairly healthy. Right, let's have a look at this other one. Paul Scarlet Climber. Um, obviously, it's a climbing rose. Although that one there's a rambling rose, so you know, but he paid a pound a plant here, yeah, so I'm not gonna complain. There's the instructions for that one. So these will be going either side of the um, the arch when I've finished um, doing it, painting it, and fixing it into position. I'm not quite decided exactly where I'm gonna put it, but uh, I mean these are gonna be okay in the bucket, so there's no. No rush. Um, yeah, two pound for the two 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 roses. I would have bought more, but just no room in the car. So. Well, guys, the roses are absolute fantastic. I couldn't believe I bought them; they're so cheap, unbelievable. But uh, ones are rambling, the ones are climbing. I'm sure I can get them both to climb up that up that uh, trellis when I actually make it. Now I've got the trellis here behind the camera. I'm not going to show it you yet. It's all sprayed, uh, barring the uh, the the pots to put the actual um, to put the roses in. Now I've got somehow I've got to attach these pots to the actual frame to give it more stability um, in high wind. So uh, we've got to do that next, and uh, then I'll, I'll post a clip up of it actually set up on the front of the plot, and uh, then we'll go on a tour in the next episode. So uh, yeah, watch out for that one. So there we go. That's uh, it's only a short video, just to uh, to wish Aaron uh, best of luck with his operation, and basically uh, to give you the heads up on this um, celestial um, fireworks display. I tell you, it's going to be the best show in the galaxy uh, on a, on Thursday night if weather permits. Maybe in the whole universe. <laughs> so anyhow. Uh, until then, until uh, the next update, a uh, fun farewell, and uh, I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching, guys.